Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lux the Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny Sunday. I'm actually really excited about this video because I am just feeling myself today. As you can tell, my hair is now short again, even shorter than it was in Wednesday's video. Yes, every time it gets close to my birthday, I have this like existential crisis about my hair and who I am and it, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Today, we're going thrifting again at the Savers in Yorba Linda, which I did do in last Sunday's video, but I didn't buy anything, which is like so weird for me. I always buy something when I go thrifting. And so this week I've actually thrifted four different times. This is going to be my fifth time thrifting at different thrift stores. And I figured I would actually film this trip because then when I do the trial portion, I'm going to include all the stuff that I've gotten this week, kind of like a collective like thrift haul. And I don't know. I just want to like talk about some clothes, have fun get back into Alexa sunshine mode yeah let's go thrifting let's have some fun all right we are in it's not busy which is so awesome when I went here with studio 86 um, in Sunday's video there was so much I found that was cute and I ended up not getting it because I was like oh I'll come back and then I never came back so hopefully the items that I did see that were cute are still here I'm actually wearing this like big sweatshirt because it was quite chilly and it's even like sprinkling as I was driving here which is actually crazy like where are you summer <laughs> I think this is for a child though it's quite small <laughs> oh. these are so cool they're originally from forever 21 they have like the fuzzy like faux fur on it but I think they are a size 9 and I am a size 10 oh wait <laughs> they're like slippers what the heck Literally, it's so annoying being a half size in shoes because it's like, I'm not a nine, but I'm not a 10. And it like, oh. oh, found some overalls. These ones are definitely not my style, but I did find some. Okay, these are some mom jeans. They're originally from Bill Blast, which I have tried Bill Blast jeans a couple times and shorts, and they usually work. And they're only, I mean, they're $9.49. I guess Savers understands what a gem these are. I'm hoping they fit. Yeah, I really don't have any type of plan, honestly, because I'm just kind of going, taking a look. I don't really like, I don't know. That's about it. I don't know. I guess like Hawaiian shirts are really in again. I feel like they always are during summer, um, but I saw on Urban Outfitters, like they're selling like vintage, vintage Hawaiian shirts for like $50, but you can just come to the thrift store and get them for $9. American Apparel shorts for nine dollars. What size are these though? 27, really? They look so tiny. I remember being like younger, I guess high school age maybe, um, and I would go into American Apparel, obviously couldn't afford anything in there, and being like, one day I'll be able to afford it. And then now nobody likes them anyway, so. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, $10 for a sweatshirt? What is happening, savers? I definitely ended up getting more than I originally planned and also looking at it I feel like I didn't get a lot but at the same time I did it ended up all coming together about $40 and I feel really good about this trip and I also feel good about all the items I'm gonna show you in the try on portion because I am gonna include the stuff that I've gotten basically from the other thrift stores like I said this will probably be one of my best like thrift store try on hauls I'm really excited because I found so many things so many jams i'm gonna head on home and then show you guys all of this and everything else that you have not seen yet all right so we have made it home it is the next day and all around me is everything that i've thrifted in the past like week and a half and it's a lot i'm gonna show it like on the screen a lot of people when i say oh this is a big thrift haul everyone's like it's not a big thrift haul well honey 
this is a big thrift haul. I wasn't able to actually do a like try on portion in the thrift store yesterday. And so you guys don't really know everything that I got, which I think is super exciting. So I'm gonna start with everything that I got at Savers. I also went to Goodwill. I went to a different Savers. And then I also went to Plato's Closet multiple times. So this is a whole big old uh, thrift haul. And I'm gonna stop talking. Well, I'm gonna keep talking because that's the whole point of this video. But I'm gonna start talking about this and just get into the actual clothes. <laughs> Okay, bag is breaking. The bag is breaking. So this is the first things that I got. I think two of the things that I actually got is going to be actually for someone else, but I figured I would still kind of show it. The first thing is these jeans. Now I am so excited that I actually found jeans, especially at this Savers because it's the Yorba Linda Savers. And one of my favorite pair of mom jeans was at that Savers for $4. These were not $4. They were $9.49. They're originally by Bill Blast and they are originally a 6p which i guess may mean a six like petite they are a little bit short just because i do think they are that p maybe means petite which i my legs are not petite so they are a little bit short on me which actually i do prefer when it comes to jeans all my jeans are a little bit short that's why i love them rocking them with boots then i know a lot of you are gonna like roll your eyes because like it's such a weird item but i couldn't say no to it it is originally from disney disneyland D walt disney world it was seven dollars and 79 cents and it is just this oversized disney world t-shirt it's got mini on it she has glasses and she's looking fabulous i just really loved it i thought it was really funky and if you don't know i love disneyland i love everything disney and although my pass is blacked out right now because i have the cheapest pass i will eventually wear this when i can so I feel good about this. I did end up looking at a lot of accessories, which I usually don't do, but I feel like this Savers just has so much. Um, I found this belt, which it doesn't say who it's originally from, but it was $6.99, and it's just this thick black belt. I really like how big this part is. When I'm tucking in like my shirts into my jeans, I think having like a really awesome statement belt just kind of brings the whole outfit together. Then I ended up getting this purse, which I think is just so cute. It definitely reminds me of like a Dooney and Burke purse. It was $7.99, which I think is like, I mean, it's still a lot, but this purse is massive and I definitely need to get more into accessories and purses in general because I think I only own like maybe two now. I feel like a boss when I'm wearing it. So I thought it was really cute. We then have this super cute yellow pajama set and I don't really look in the pajamas that often, but I definitely want to start just because they do have so many cute items. The, for um, the top and the bottom, it was $5.49. So like all together, not even like each, which I thought it was each but it wasn't and it has like these cute little like flowers yellow flowers it's kind of like a gingham style like plaid and then it's got a little pocket in the back and then the shirt i just think is so cute it is a button up but it's like a tank top button up and it has more of the flowers a little pocket and then i also ended up getting another bag and this one was three dollars and 99 cents and straw bags are really in right now and actually the thrift store has a lot of straw bags so if you have not gone to your local thrift store definitely recommend and i think it's a pretty good size there's nothing like weird inside which is always a big thing when you find a bag at the thrift store and i just really liked all the colors it was like that pastel then i ended up going to a different savers i ended up getting this skirt i don't know i do want to get into skirts but again it's the whole like a wind breeze comes and then your skirt flies up so this is a nice like in between type of thing. It was $3.49. I did end up getting 20% off just because I buy so much stuff at Savers that I had a discount. It's originally from a company called White Stag and they just look like these. So it looks like a really cute skirt in the front. And then we got some shorts in the back and there's even a pocket and it is a tiny bit oversized. So my only concern is wearing a belt with it because they don't have any like belt loops, which is super annoying, but it's okay. I really, really liked it. And then kind of with that, um, at Savers, I ended up getting this for $2.49, but I did get 50% off. And it's originally from H&M. It is in a large and it's just a black like t-shirt dress. I don't know. I just knew I would wear it. I love oversized t-shirts. So I figured maybe I should just like get a t-shirt dress and it does have the sleeves already rolled up, which is super nice because I'm sure you probably have noticed in this video, my sleeves have been rolling back down, which is super annoying. So now we are going to get into what I got from Goodwill. I went last week i think i only got like two things and one of these items are a little a little crazy you're gonna be like really alexa why'd you get that but i'll save that um in a sec the first thing i got is this lace kind of halter tank top which like kind of looks like lingerie 
kind of outside my comfort zone, but I was thinking with some mom jeans and maybe even a denim jacket, kind of just like making it more wearable. It's originally from BB and it was $3.99. A little bit like not just a normal tank top or a t-shirt that I wear all the time. Then I found this shirt, which I thought was just so me because obviously I love me some plants and this was $3.99 and it's just this plant tank top and it's made with a very interesting material. Like I don't really know how to explain it. And I just thought it kind of like worked perfectly with me and I really, really like it. It's originally from Charlotte Russe. Oh wow, it's from Charlotte Russe. I would have never thought. It kind of reminds me of like a grandma shirt, like not a grandma shirt, but like an older style shirt, but apparently not keep into that green theme. This was altogether $9.99, which like looking at it, I'm like, what? But it is a two piece, so I think it's like kind of okay. It is this lime green like suit two piece, which if you guys haven't seen last Sunday's video, um, neons uh, are kind of like a trend for summer. And I guess it inspired me to pick this up. So it is a lime green skirt. Um, it's like corridor, corridor, corduroy. I can say it button up skirt. I just thought it was so cute and it fit really, really nice. It's originally from New York jeans. And then I also have the matching. It's not really a blazer, which I kind of like, although it gives like the appearance of a blazer. It's actually like a zip up and it looks like this and it's got a button up and I just want to like expand my style. I thought this would be like a really awesome thing to wear. I don't know how I'm going to wear it, how I'm going to even look normal in it, but we will Definitely, hopefully, find out. Then, what I got from Plato's Closet, now I ended up going um, a couple different times. I'm gonna start with the first time, which if you guys saw Wednesday's video, um, it was like a whole like week in my outfits-ish. In that, I actually had gotten these items, which is all denim, four different items that are all denim. I feel like I had been like lacking a little bit lately, so it looks like all of this. And the first thing is a denim jacket. And it's a cropped denim jacket. It is a little bit like, not tighter, but like more fit than what I'm used to, as you can see with all my other denim jackets. It's originally from Dynam Jeans, and it just looks like this. It's just, ah, I love it. I do have more of a cropped denim jacket that's like in a lighter wash, and so I kind of wanted a little bit of a darker one. Then I ended up finding some Levi's 501s, but they are short, so I think somebody just like cut them into shorts, and they look like this, they're distressed, and the only thing is they are a 33, which I do believe I'm like maybe a 28 or a 30 and like Levi's 501 jeans. I do like my shorts to be a little bit oversized. I realized I hadn't thrifted shorts in a year and I only have one pair of shorts that I really, really love. I have like three other ones that are okay, but I figured I would kind of grab some other ones. Oh, the prices, I totally forgot. So I ended up already washing all of these items. Yeah, I spent a lot of like money than what I'm used to at Playlist Closet, but the denim jacket was $17. And then these Levi shorts were $12, which I think is like, it's, it's okay. Anyway, super cute. And they aren't like super short, which I really like. These ones are perfect because they are oversized and a little bit longer. Then I found some Wrangler shorts for $8 and they just look like that in the back and they're black. These ones are a little bit longer than those and actually longer than any shorts that I own. I think they are perfect in the fact that sometimes like I don't want to wear short shorts or I don't want to wear like shorts. I want to wear longer shorts, but I don't wear pants. So this is like a nice kind of in between. The size on this one says it's a 13, which I don't think it is to be honest because it does fit me quite well. I do still have to wear a belt, but uh, I haven't gotten Wrangler jeans and like probably almost over a year and they are a little bit distressed at the bottom just because again i think somebody just cut them which whoever cuts like jeans into shorts holy moly you are a queen i wish i could do that but again can't can't cut in a straight line, so. And then we got the $20 item I got from Plato's Closet. And they are Levi 501s. They are in a 31, which they are a little bit loose, but I really, really like them. They are quite long. Like, I don't think I've ever had jeans that are too long on me. And these ones are very long. Like I have to roll them up, which kind of makes me feel like all cool because I've never had that problem. I'm like, oh, is this what short people feel like? Wow, they just look like this. They are just such a nice wash. My other 501s in the crotch area, like they just like have this weird like acid wash thing. And I, I love them and I really like the fit, but these ones are like perfect. They are just so awesome. I think finding like jeans that are actually comfy 
is a really big thing because a lot of the jeans I do thrift like they're cute but they're not like the most comfortable thing because jeans in general aren't comfy but these ones I just think are so easy to wear and I really love them and finding Levi 501 jeans is so freaking difficult so yes I paid that $20 and I do not regret it now this is also from Plato's Closet but this was a different trip first got some regular jeans again I don't know what was happening that day I went to Plato's Closet but they just had like all of my faves was $14, which is crazy. It was less expensive than the Levi's, but they are oversized. Like I cannot wear them without a belt, but with a belt, they just look so cute and I couldn't say no. And they're distressed and they're amazing. And do I kind of regret that I got them because I don't know how much wear I'm gonna get out of them? I don't know. I'm gonna show you anyway, because I'm so excited about them. Now they do have a like little, little tear kind of by the butt area, but the butt area, but it doesn't show my butt. <laughs> a little hole for your knees and it's just nice and distressed and black. Even the bottoms are distressed, which I think is like grungy and cool. And I don't have any distressed denim. I don't think, I don't remember. Finding darker denim is quite hard. I don't know, it's quite hard for me. So when I do find a good pair, even though it doesn't fit, I can make it fit. I get it. Oh my gosh, this one was $20, which is kind of crazy. It's originally from Urban Outfitters. I don't really buy fast fashion, but I do a lot of times will go on the websites just to get like inspiration. And Urban Outfitters has just been really inspiring me lately. It isn't a medium, but it is this yellow overall dress and it's just so cute. It's so typical like Urban Outfitters. Like, let me just, let me just show you. Look at that, it's so Urban Outfitters. And I would definitely have to wear a like t-shirt under it. I think I could go without one, but I don't really want to. And it's a dress, which is crazy. I thrifted a dress that I really feel like I'm going to wear. And I think I'm getting more into yellows. And it's just, oh, it's so cute. It is just so cute. Oh, I'm like exhausted now. I talked about thrift clothes for such a long time. Holy moly. If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I love sunshine 83. And I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye.